Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a first impressions review on a foundation that I recently picked up. I picked this up yesterday. I'm so excited. This foundation is definitely famous on YouTube. I have searched far and wide for this foundation, so I'm so excited to finally have my hands on it. It is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. Finally, I was just wasting time at a mall that I don't normally go to here in Ottawa. It's a smaller mall. It's the smallest mall we have. And I went into Rexall, of course, and I saw a whole Milani foundation lineup. Every shade was there. Nothing was sold out. Actually, the whole entire line was there. So I grabbed it. So I was swatching in store, so I'm hoping that this shade matches me. I got 03 Light Beige. Uh, number four was buff beige or something beige and it just looked like it was oxidizing quite dark on my hand So I figured I'd get this shade like I I hope it's okay We're gonna see if it works right now So I do always prime my face So today I'm just gonna go in with Smashbox photo finish foundation primer. It just looks like this I just have a little uh, sample baby one. I'm just gonna pop that In all of my areas that I need and to apply the foundation today, I'm going to use a beauty blender. I just feel that a beauty blender always is my go-to. So I'm going to give it a good shake and then pump. Ooh, that looks like a lot, but I did two full pumps on the back of my hand. And I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and just start applying that on the face. Oh, I think this is a great color. This is perfect. I'm happy now. Okay, so I have one side of my face done and not the other. You can definitely tell. This is definitely a full coverage foundation. This is one layer applied with the Beauty Blender. So that is pretty incredible. I love the color match. The color match is perfect. So very happy about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other side of my face. So this is what it looks like, just the foundation. So under my eyes, I didn't put too much product right under there, but I still have a lot of blue showing through, so I'm definitely gonna go in and conceal. First impressions though, I really, really like the foundation. It sits, it's sitting on the skin really well. What does it say? Medium to full coverage, definitely, definitely medium to full coverage. I would say more towards the full coverage than medium for my personal preference. It does say it is lightweight, oil-free. Um, lightweight, yeah, like it doesn't feel too heavy on the skin right now, but I, I do think that once I have, you know, my concealer, my powder, like blush, blah, 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 I do feel like it's gonna be more of a full, full face foundation than a more everyday. Long wearing, water resistant, and sweat proof. So I don't know that yet, but I will at the end of the day. And that's all it does. It says it doesn't say anything about the finish, but I do really feel like it's going to be giving a matte finish just by the way that I see it drying. So far, the only negative thing that I have to say is I do not like the smell. I do not like the smell of this foundation. I mean, it's not horrible. It's not a smell that I will, you know, like hate and never use, but I, it is... It is a scented foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and then I'll be back to give my overall thoughts and opinions. So, be back. So I finished up the rest of my face. Everything that's on my face, I will put down below if you are interested. Let's talk a little bit more about the foundation. So it's been on my face now, I would say an hour. So as I mentioned earlier, I saw that it was really starting to dry quite matte, which I do like because I do have oily skin. So I decided to add a little bit of highlight to just kind of give my skin a little bit of luminosity. But overall, I really do like the finish of the foundation. I think it's set really well onto the skin. 
as you can tell color match wise it did not oxidize the way that I saw it kind of oxidizing in the store the shade above this shade here really stayed true to its color and I really really like it it is lightweight but once you have your full face on I wouldn't wear this foundation every single day but I think this is going to be my new go-to foundation for night outs um, it definitely gives a flawless finish to the face. Overall, I really like this foundation. The only negative part to this foundation, as I mentioned earlier, was that it does have a scent. I don't like scents on my face products just because it's so close to my nose, but a pro to the scent is that it didn't linger. So now that it's on my face and set and all that, I can't smell it anymore. So that is a good thing. So it's just the initial application where you will smell the scent. So the packaging for a drugstore is amazing. I think the packaging itself is really cute, like the ombre effect that it has on the bottle. I think that's really pretty. And the fact that it has a pump is amazing. As you all know, drugstore foundations tend to leave us hanging when it comes to pumps. They don't typically give us a pump. So the fact that this foundation has a pump is definitely two thumbs up. Thank you, Milani. Also, the price is really great. So here in Canada, prices are a little bit higher because our dollar is higher. So I picked this one up for $12.99 and I don't remember seeing a sales sticker on that. So I'm pretty sure at Rexall Pharma Plus, these foundations go for $12.99. And you do, if you do live in the Ottawa area, I was at the Billings Bridge location when I found this. So if you are on the hunt for it as well, check out Billings Bridge. They had all the shades and they were fully, fully stocked. And they also, if you were on the hunt for Milani in general, this Rexall at Billings Bridge had a phenomenal, phenomenal display. So really great. Overall, I definitely give this foundation two thumbs up. It's drugstore. It has a pump. It's medium to full coverage. It's matte finish. So it's great for oily skin gals like me. Um, the finish is beautiful. The color match was great as well. I really have no complaints. Like I said, I addressed the fragrance issue. But other than that, I really am loving this foundation. I'm so excited to have this in my collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions review of the Milani 2-in-1 foundation and concealer. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!